second. Okay, so for our first example, uh, we need to determine the component of a force F, which is 300 pound, which line of action passes through points A, so given yung coordinates niya, and point B. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to locate those points, yung point A and point B. So kung mapapansin nyo, merong atatlo ditong bearing, or point, so, ayan. So, the first point na binigay dyan is yung X, followed by Y, and Z. Okay, so, dito, you are given the X-axis. So, lahat na mapunta dito is positive, but on point A, sabi, negative 2. So, gawin na lang natin, bilang tayo dito ng 2. So, represent ko lang natin ng ganyan. So, label na natin to ah. So, this is 2. And then, ang sabi dito, positive 1. So, taas ka lang ng 1. So, that is 4y. And then, 3. So, positive 3. So, along z-axis. So, lahat nandito is positive. So, galaw lang tayo dito ng 3. So, 1. Okay. So, this is your point A. So, sulat lang natin yung bearing niya. So, negative yung coordinates pala 2, 1, and 3 okay, so ayan 1, and this is 3 okay, so tip lang kapag uh, spatial force system yung isinosold mo mas maganda kung malalaki yung gagawin mong figure or drawing para at least mas makita mo siya mas, o mas ma-analyze mo ng mas maayos Okay, so let's get back to this problem. So, 3. So, positive 3. So, sulat na 1, 2, 3. So, nandito siya. 3, and then 5. So, 1. Try na nga lang natin. Ayan. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so followed by negative 3. So, along sa axis na to. So, galaw ka lang. Hop, hop. Negative 3. 1, 2, 3. Oh, check. Gumulo na. And then ito, 5. So, lagay lang natin siya as point B. Saan siya na yung drawing ha? 3, 5, negative 3. Okay, so, ang gawin natin, i-connect lang natin yung dalawang point na yan. So, this will be your line of action of your force F. Okay, so, kailangan natin hanapin is yung kanyang mga component. Actually, kahit hindi ko naman talaga drawing to eh. Ano, so, pinakita lang natin kung ano yung magiging itsura niya. Okay, so, paano nga natin makukuha yung mga component niya? So, unahin natin yung conventional na ito dito. So, ano nga ang unang kailangan malaman o we need to determine? So, for this, we need to determine the D. Okay, or the distance the diagonal distance D so yun mo so that represents lang yung uh, eto sya di ba yung sabi nga do sa unang uh, video o do sa previous video yung distance is directly proportional dun sa force F Directly proportional. So, ito, yung mo is the distance yan. So, makukuha mo yan using yung ating distance formula for the dia space diagonal. Ano? So, that will be just the difference of 
x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared plus z3, ah sorry, z2 minus z1 squared. Okay, so knowing that your this is your point 2, o yung this yung ating coordinates sa b, so, so that will be 3 minus, so minus negative 2, so that will be positive 2 squared plus y2. So 5 minus 1 squared and then plus negative 3 minus 3 squared. Okay? So what will be the answer? So 5 squared plus 4 squared plus 6 squared. So that is uh, square root of 7, 7. Okay, so once we already know the value of your D, yung ratio and proportion, apply lang natin, o yung using the force triangle, so di ba yung equation natin dun, is Fx over X, is Fy over Y, is equals to Fz over Z, is equals to sa force F na 300 over the distance D, which is square root of 77. Guys, itong X na to, that is just the difference between X2 and X1. So, in short, ito lang yung X mo. And then ito, ito yung Y. And then, ito yung magiging value mo na Z. Okay, so, masasolve na natin yung mga component niya. So, knowing that the value of your F is Okay, so let's go to the fx all over, so this is 5, and then this one, so that will be fy over 4, then ito, that will be fz over negative 6 is equals to the force f na 300 over square root of 77. Okay, so in short, the value of your fx and fy and fz will be equals to the following. So, ito na lang. 300 over square root of 77 times 5. So, this is 170.9409. So, what is the unit pound? So, this is for the fx and then for fy. So, 136.7527 pound. And then, for FZ, that will be negative 6. Or, that will be negative 205.1290 pound. Okay, so these are the components ng ating force F. Considering na nagpas siya dun sa dalawang point. Okay, so the other way of solving this is using the vector force o yung uh, better formula. So, kung maaalala nyo, iba meron tayong equation kung saan F bar is equals dun sa force F multiplies by dun sa unit vector na sig symbolize sa ano yung symbol to. Apply by A to point B. Okay, so paano nga makuha yung unit vector? So, ang unit vector mo, meron kang formula na actually, yun naman eh, parang ito lang din to tell you honestly, ito lang din yung concept niya. Ginawa niya lang ng ganitong equation. So, this is the dot product between the force F times yung ating unit vector to get the force vector. So, ito, actually, ito yung D lang eh. And then, ang nangyari lang, ito, yung x2 minus x1. Ito yung i. And then, plus y2 minus y1, j, plus z2 minus z1 of your k. Actually, kung titingnan mo, ito lang din yun eh. 
Ano sa mangyayari lang dyan in a form na meron kang i, j, k do sa equation. The i represent ito yung kanyang yung makukuha mong numerical value dito. That will be the x component of the force. Do sa j, that will be the y. And for the k, that will be the z. So, ipakita na rin natin para okay, so So, yun din natin na compute na natin kanina which is square root of 7 to 7. Ito lang din siya. Lalagyan mo lang dito. And then, yung x mo, ito, di ba itong x2 minus x1, that is just the distance x, or the difference between the point 0.2 minus point 0.1. Yung y mo will be same, so y2 minus y1, and yung z, that is difference between the z2 minus z1. Okay, so, this will be uh, 5i plus y2 minus y1 so that will be 4k and then minus 6k okay so that's just take the that product so to get the f bar or the vector force that is just the product of 300 multiplying it up so so that then so 5i plus 4k minus 6, ah sorry, this is J over square root of 7 to 7. Okay, so the equation of that is so sulat na AB. Okay, so multiply nyo lang. So 300 times 5 divided by square root of 7 to 7. So 170.9409 I then yung isa, so plus 136.7527 J and then minus 205.1290 of your K ok, so di ba ito kamukha lang din ito so, kung gusto nyo, gawin nyo na lang solve nyo to and then if you are required to get the value of the force vector. So, lagay nyo lang ng i dito. Dito j. And then this one. Okay. Then, isang mo lang sila. Okay?